A little change of plans today. So we got my brother's 2011 BMW 335. And if you guys haven't seen this on the channel, it is a very low mileage E90 in this beautiful blue color. And for the most part, this thing was a single owner, very pristine interior exterior for the most part is really good but the few issues with the car is the bumpers so obviously the guy who recently owned this car used to live in the city and because of that there's a lot of dings and dents and just basic usage over the years and it's the front bumper has seen better days so today he bought new bumpers all the way from china m3 bumpers <laughs> m3 so, style bumpers yeah style bumpers so i'm still gonna have the fog lights with it it's gonna look a little weird but we'll see yeah, is this like the first step of making this car look a little bit newer? So we have the new bumpers inside. You want to go grab those? Yeah, we're grab and them. we're not only just doing the front, we're also doing the M3 style bumpers on the rear. Now, we're not trying to convert this into an M3 style car or nothing like that. We're just trying to upgrade the look, lower it a little bit, add some nicer wheels and make this thing look a little bit prettier. Now, the bumpers are not painted yet, but we wanted to take the time to go ahead and test fit everything up before we actually send off the bumpers to paint, uh, just so we know everything fits properly again they are bumpers from china um alibaba to be exact so we just want to make sure that we're test fitting everything and making sure that they fit before we send them off to paint As you can see, we got the front bumpers here. We also have the rear bumper. And then we also got all the grills necessary to go onto the bumpers, the tow hook cover. We also will have the fog lights. Um, so these stock fog lights will get removed. Uh, we will need to do some conversion uh, with the plugs, but that shouldn't be too difficult. And then we'll just throw the new fog lights in to this one. Just a matter of getting this front bumper off. Shouldn't be too difficult of a process. It's pretty much the same on all BMWs. There's uh, a bunch of 10 or eight mils across the wheel well liner both sides from there there's gonna be a bunch of clips on the bottom clips on the top and this thing should pop off luckily enough there isn't anything um, like sometimes when you have the headlight washer fluid mechanism that makes it a little bit more difficult but this one doesn't so this should be pretty easy to take off So we got this side disassembled and this is going to be the order of operations. We have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about 10 little plastic screws that are going to hold your wheel wheel liner on. Uh, the only other thing that's connected here now is this um, air tube, which leads to the brakes, but that's actually connected to the frame. So once you pull the bumper, that should come off um, and then the fog light is just gonna dangle here. So we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. And for right now, just throw the wheel on so that we can actually jack up the other side. All right, I gotta grab that bolt. All right, so now that we got that thing out, just these two bumper bolts that go, that hold the fender to the bumper itself. Do you remember what size that was? Uh, it was 10. 10. Yeah. So yeah, you just remove those two and then this should come loose. And from there, we might need to remove some other parts on this side since it's not exactly the same, but we'll go ahead and do this first and see. Now we got those two screws out. Let's see if this is connected to anything else back here. Oop, that socket is gone. My plug would just fill up. Remove that. Yep. So the horn. So you don't even have to disconnect the horn on that side. You just did. Wait. No, dude, it really looked like it was connected to this, though. Because <laughs> it really, I... <laughs> it's not connected here. Okay. Yeah, it's so. not connected here either. So. Let me just disconnect this. I bet. Left this smart guy to finish up this side while I finished up some work. And this guy disconnected the fog light, disconnected the horn, and he didn't need to. He just, the only thing you really need to disconnect is the bumper, the, the bracket that goes to the fender, and that's it. You can take it out. But this guy wanted to do some extra work. This right here, uh, this plug and this plug are actually the ones that we're gonna splice into so that we can, uh, mock up the new fog lights. So we're just gonna get an adapter piece, wire those up so that they fit the new fog light 
bezel and we'll go ahead and just replace that, make it look as OEM as possible. And if we ever need to revert back to the stock bumper, we can. That should be pretty easy. Yo, look what's holding on your license plate. Those are drywall anchors. <laughs> we were trying to take it off and we were like, wait, why wouldn't it come off? Yeah, those are drywall anchors. I got the car. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. All right, well, it looks like one owner, cars can still get messed up. Uh, we gotta actually take off the piece on there and attach it to this. What piece? There's like a little plastic. Oh, the, the bumper bracket? Oh, yeah, the bracket. Okay. Oh, yeah, we don't do that right now. You need to go your way a little bit. Yeah, a lot of it actually. Go ahead, pull it. Okay. Oh, you know what I think it is? Huh? Half the stuff that's back here is just pushing into the bumper. I don't think it's going on fully. The um, the air hose or uh, all of this. Yeah, let's take it off for a second. Okay. All right, what's your initial thoughts? It's good, I like it, but it's not like, there's like certain stuff just like this. It's not wide. So what he's talking about is this right here. So, I mean, that's I mean, yeah, uh, that's as much as it's gonna be. Better. Yeah, so that's yeah, as much as it's gonna be. Well, that, it looks really good. Uh, it's way more aggressive. Yeah, so we got test fitted up. As you can see on this side, it matches up with the stock fender pretty well. Same on the other side. Now we are gonna need to do some cutting right here in the grill area is my guess. Uh, once you put the actual grill on, it might hit that plastic piece. Um, everything from the top still needs to be aligned, but for the most part, both sides, you can tell we have pretty good wheel arches lined up and ready to go. Now the one thing that's throwing me off, the headlight area does look a little bit big, like the gapping here, but it looks to be that way on both sides. So not sure if that's just an fitment issue, if that's how the bumper is supposed to be or so on, but overall we know that everything fits and fits up pretty well. So that means at least we have the green light to go ahead and send this thing off to paint. Yep. So that's gonna actually happen tomorrow, uh, but for now at least, I think this is it. Let's go ahead and move that rear one to the back of it. So this is the stock rear bumper and the new rear bumper is gonna look like that. What are you gonna do with the exhaust? Oh, we need to remove the tips at least, right? Yeah, we, gotta remove, we can remove the tips to get that on properly. Okay, so I guess the, the exhaust will sit behind the bumper for the most part. The new bumper will go on and then we'll add uh, or custom, uh, get a custom exhaust for it to come out to the single uh, but yeah so that's kind of how the rear bumper is going to look hopefully it fits just as well and i think the rear is going to be a little bit easier since there's less parts attached to it than the front but yeah for the most part um, everything should be plug and play hopefully the fender liner goes back on no problems which I think it should, because most of the fender liner bolts are on the chassis itself, if not on that front apron. For the most part, the car runs great. It doesn't need much maintenance. It only has 50,000 miles on it or so. So in terms of that, runs great. All the maintenance was done at the dealer. Engine wise, car's good. So now we're just making it match with the exterior of the car. But I, th I guess for now, let's go ahead and just throw the stock bumper back on and then get all the parts that we removed back onto it. Now the last piece that we need to send those bumpers off is this fuel cover, just so we can paint match to this. To get that off, you should be able to just pull this. There we go. And he's gonna be running no fuel cover for the next few days. And just like that, we got the entire stock bumper back on. He's finishing up the wheel well liner on this side. That side is already complete. As you can tell, we left these brake vents off the car just because there was no point of putting them back on. They're not gonna be on the car when we put this new bumper on and this 
will only be off for another week. So this will get painted very shortly here. Um, the only part or plastic piece that we left on was that oil cooler bracket and that is gonna have to get cut once we put this on but for the sake of protection we left it on there yeah like i said overall the fit and finish was actually pretty good so we're gonna go ahead and toss these in the car tomorrow morning take it to the paint shop and hopefully get them back within a week's time so today's the day for paint we're gonna go ahead and load these things up into the car we got the rear bumper we also got our front bumper and then can't forget our paint sample which is going to be our gas cap so all this will go in the car, get sent off, get dropped off at the shop, and then from there, hopefully within a few days, we should get everything back. Very last minute random plan. He wanted to come over, make sure we test fitted everything on, and now it's being sent off. So hopefully in a week's time, he might be back so we can actually put them on the car. So if you're an E90 or E9X, 335 owner and you want to do the same project this is how you're going to do it luckily bumpers weren't too bad even though they're from china um great great price by the way so like i said if you want to do this yourself hopefully this video is a little bit helpful and you kind of have a better idea of how it's going to fit and so on but with that we're going to call it here for today and pick up the camera again once the bumpers are back from paint but till next time peace